All right, on to my next card. So I used my little splatter background. From Hi, welcome to my crafty space. My name is Latoya and we are about to make another Christmas card. I'm going to use this sketch here from the Build Your Holiday Stash group that I'm a part of. This sketch, I made another card with it. I don't know if I'm going to post that video before or after this one, but I'm like, okay, this is pretty basic and it's it was pretty good to like get me going. So using that, I decided to make a couple backgrounds. One of the backgrounds that I made was this green splatter background and I used my little splatter from their Forever Fern set, which I can put away. I just did a bunch at one time because I know I like the look of this and I did it on a couple different pieces of cardstock in different colors just so I can have it as a base to just grab and go. So I really like this and following this sketch I know that I'm going to need a layer so this is going to be a base layer. This is going to be a matte layer here and then just personally I like to matte on top of a matte so I'm probably also going to have like a matte like this or in reverse I'll probably have it like this and then have this on top and have this here. The one card I did have a mat on top of a mat on top of a mat. Hi Sarah, but I might do it for this card. And what I wanted to do, because Christmas again evokes all of the great thoughts of sweets, which again, eat in moderation. I have this really old set. This is the Have a Cookie set by uh, Melanie, and it's actually a, ooh, it's a Gina K set. Y'all, this is old. This is from 2008. And the story behind this set was that, like, it was actually discontinued. And when I found out about this set, I think it was, like, a couple months after it was discontinued, I, like, called and begged and pleaded to have a copy of this made. And oh, I was more than delighted to get this set. And I'm super cherishing it because I'm very happy that they were so nice and, you know, um, so had it on print and printed it for me. So, as you can see, I've only used this set once. And I'm trying to change that because it is a very lovely set. I'm going to use a little container here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this tag or I might use another one, but I just grabbed it. And what I did off camera was I actually took out another Gina K set. And I created it with a whole sheet and I cut it down. I wanted it to be like a sheet of gingerbread cookies. So I took my solid stamps here and I basically made my own background paper. Then I cut it and the card is going to look like this. So cool, right? I was happy how like fast this came together. I mean, well, it wasn't fast at the moment. I was like listening to music and everything else. So that's going to go there. So now that I have this here, I think I'm going to fill in like, I don't know, maybe like a spot here, maybe a spot here and that's it. I don't want to risk like putting something here and then everything looking like way too crowded together and then not being able to have like, um, a different type of stamp because I'm pretty sure I only use five stamps from out of this set. And again, this was another oldie but goodie. I got this like, I think last year or the year before and I've only played with it once. And that was when I was um, creating like that stocking card. So now where I am at is I would love to have this little jar right here, cookie jar, because these are cookies. How cute, right? And then the words um, holiday cookies I'm going to put on the jar here and maybe have a cookie or two just like sitting on the side. I think that would be kind of cute. And that might be my card. I'll have to figure out this tag because I think I might want a little extra to make this tag stand out a bit. But that's where I'm at right now. And let's see um, how it goes. Okay, so I stamped out to the cookie jars. That one I didn't really like, so I did it the proper way and removed my um, foam cushion and stamped the rubber um, without that. So I like how the jar came out. You can see me testing colors here. At first I stamped the cookies out with black ink, but then I was like, you know what? These cookies are, you know, solid, solid stamping. So let me just do the outline in the same color that these are in and then Copic color to fill it in because my jar is going to be Copic colored. So I kind of like how this one looks. And where are my scissors? I'm just going to go ahead and give this a little bit of an outline. Okay. 
I think that'll look good because I'm going to do something really swell with the metal. So I'll show you guys after I finish coloring the other cookie. Okay, so I had to use a couple tools. What I originally wanted to do was heat emboss the frosting onto the cookies that I Copic colored, but after doing so, I ended up um, second guessing that, and I was like, I'll just use my texture paste. So I used tools that aren't meant for it, because <laughs> it doesn't matter. Eventually I'll buy some stuff, but I'll clean these off. So I had to use these tools and really finagle this texture paste onto these cookies. And you guys, look how cute, right? Kind of messy looking, but kind of nice. And it just gives the card a little bit of something extra, which I really like. So here we are. So this is what it looks like if the cookie is heat embossed. This was my test cookie and I don't mind that. It looks fine, but I wanted a lot more dimension so instead i use some texture paste and i think i like the texture paste a little better but it's going to take a while to dry so i'm gonna i don't know work on another card or go ready dinner and then i'll be back all right so i decided to as you can see here use my die cut pieces i have a little stash over here just of different and bellies and such that I want to incorporate into different cards. No rhyme or reason. So these die cut pieces are just so adorable. And these are the pieces from the new um, Stampin' Up! bundle. So this bundle here is just the cutest thing ever. The Frosted Gingerbread Bundle. This die here I absolutely love. So I just ran that through a bunch of times. So I could just have it off to the side and have these bits to play with. So... I just took a piece and ran a piece of, um, ran my tape runner along the back and then just affixed it and made sure both sides were the same. This is what card looks like so far, which I love. And the cookies, again, are phenomenal. So now I just need to color my jar. And I think I'm actually going to color my, draw, my jar red just to add in more Christmas colors and just get away from um, the two tones that I have going on right now. All right, there we go. As good as it's gonna get. Again, I'm not like some master type of color or so. <laughs> but I think I do decent. I like my jar. I think the inside should be tan to tie in these colors. And because, you know, it's full of cookies, so I think I'll just make it tan. Yeah, that one's good. There we go, perfecto. Unfortunately, I had a little bleeding outside of the lines here, so I'm going to try to push it back in with my colorless blender, but I might have to use my multi-liner. I think this will look okay. The red's deep enough to go with the, the darkness of the green. Red is such a hard color. Like, if it even seeps out a little bit, you're pretty much like, ugh. Why bother? It never pushes all the way back in. It's irritating. So now I'm just fussy cutting this out because not everything needs the scan and cut. But of course, if I was going to remake this because the cookies are fussy cut and this, I would just, you know, stamp them all at once and use the scan and cut because that would be you know, very uh, time efficient.
Ta-da. see here. I really need to hurry up and get this other tag because it's not what I want here. Oh, how cute. How cute. Oh, that's adorable. I like that. Okay. But again, um, one, I need to stamp holiday cookies on here. And two, I need to figure out this tag. All right, so I have my white pigment ink and I have my sentiments here. As you can see, I already stamped holiday and I did a little test on a piece of um, cardstock that I ran my Copic over to see if the white would show up like I wanted and it indeed did. So now I am just trying to put holiday cookies on this here jar. And I This is so cute. I love it. Oh my goodness. And I'm still deciding on what little die cut piece I want to use. All right. So I took out this stamp set after rummaging through a lot of them. And this is one of my newest Christmas stamps because it was on sale for like $4, you guys. Yeah. I'm like, ooh, we can pass up all these awesome sentiments, and I love how each has like a special detail with it. Anyhow, the Christmas greeting sentiment here looks like it'll be perfect for my card, so that is what I'm going to stamp onto it. And after a little bit of thinking, I am also going to restamp another cookie so I can have three cookies right next to the jar. And I should be hunky dory. All right. Now, I didn't think what color I was going to stamp this in. My jar is red, so I think I want to make the sentiment green just because I have the red jar right there. And pretty sure this color, we always want to check our colors. I'll actually do it in shaded spruce. I was about to use garden green, but that is not the color green I'm really going for. I think shaded spruce would be closest yeah so always check your color charts y'all test before i just place this down because i've ruined things before all right looks good I am loving these Christmas cards. They're just so cute. Look at that sentiment, you guys. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. Oh, that is just, it's beautiful. It's so crisp. I love it. You guys, I am so thrilled. This just came out so incredibly cute. I love this card and I'm loving this splatter background. Like it might be simple, you might see it a lot. I'm going to tell you there are other cards that I have in mind that I plan on using this background for, but it's just so simple, but the white just automatically transports me to Christmas and I really like it. And for this to be my, it's not my first Christmas cookie card of the year, but it's, the first card that I've made like this, so I guess I'll say I'm really happy about that. Like the edge here, using this decorative edge, so, so cute. The solid stamping, the little background that I made, I'm surprised that I incorporated it and I didn't have to do anything extra to it. I love this tag and how I layered um, outside of this tag also. The cookie jar just being nice and vibrant against all of the green and these cookies here which have just all the texture in the world. It does look a little different with the Copic coloring that I did now that I look at it against my solid stamps like once everything's together but you know I kind of like it. I hope you guys do something crafty that makes your heart happy 